welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Remake with me, Jerupidus. And today, what I'm feeling like doing is there are a couple of red rooms left in the police station. Uh, just two of them, in fact. And I kind of feel like going and clearing those out since the tyrant is dead. And you'll notice that we're still using the uh, original music for this part. And I want to do it for one more episode just because we'll be running around the police station. And I just love these songs so much. So we'll rock with it for one more episode. And now while we're running these uh, kind of boring errands, there was something that I wanted to talk about. And that is that I've been thinking a lot about when we got ambushed by around five zombies in the sewers and just how difficult and dangerous that felt. And what that reminds me of is the um, cutscenes from the original game. There were a few of them where there's like a police line and several of them have automatic weapons, but they get overrun by zombies anyway. <laughs> Oh my god. He almost got me. <laughs> Alright, one uh, high-powered shot should do it. Jeez, I thought everything was dead. I thought I managed to kill everything. Yikes. So, in the original, you, you know, you've got these police lines, and they end up getting overrun despite their weapons. And in the original game, when you have a shotgun, like, one shotgun shell can take out, like, two, three zombies at close range. Just make some hamburger, right? But in this game, uh, that is not true. And the zombies in this game feel like the zombies from those cutscenes. Now, I realize that those cutscenes aren't in this game, they're in the original. But I think it's really cool and probably deliberate that they were thinking, we'd like to make enemies that feel more along the lines of what was shown in those cutscenes, where if the police are, you know, firing wildly, if there's 10 or 20 zombies, they're definitely going to get overrun, and they're all going to die. So I think that's really cool, and it's a really great fit to me for this game. For example, uh, in The Evil Within, the basic enemies being tenacious felt a little bit frustrating and a little bit annoying, whereas to me in this game, it just feels, it feels pitch perfect. It feels right at home and like what you would want for a game like this. I just really, really appreciate it. And it just really stuck with me that when I got hit by five of them, I was at a loss for even what to do. And that's really good design that just makes you feel like a survivor in this kind of insane situation. Oh, it's just really, really well done. Now the last thing is gonna be all the way on the other side, I do believe. Uh, down by where the chief's office is. Yeah, all the way down the steps this way. This just feels so much better uh, now that Mr. X is dead. But it makes me wonder if maybe I shouldn't have saved doing all of this running around until after that. I felt like I wanted to do it right then. These guys are going to be real noisy, but they can't get in. Um, but this would have made my life a lot less uh, stressful and insane. Ooh, a high-grade gunpowder. Okay, perfect. That was totally worth it. Maybe the red herb wasn't, but uh, high-grade gunpowder is awesome. He's going to break that window and he can't get in. And even if he did, I'm out of here. We are all done with the police station. Now, I think I want to get back to the main room and get back to the sewers, so I feel like I'll just see you there. Alright, so we're back at the box. Let's put some stuff away. Um, we still haven't finished using the tool, so we're going to go ahead and also finish up the sewers once we get back there. We've got both plugs on us. Um, so all we need is that roof plug from the drawbridge. Um, but there's a section we kind of missed, and I was noticing that because we hadn't finished using the tool, and, um, we haven't managed to find the video cassette to use in the, uh, tape player. So we'll want to do that, and then hit the, uh, control room, and the monitor room. And then we'll be done with the sewers and ready to rescue Sherry. I do realize that <laughs> Sherry is maybe beginning to trust a uh, adult for maybe the first time in her life. And we are just kind of leaving her there while we're running errands. And I do feel bad about that, but 
the red rooms are gonna bother us. Now, one thing to remember is that Jazzflyer was here. We wanted to commit those letters to memory. Let me ch think to myself if I have done that. It is S-Z-F, I believe is correct. Now, the place we haven't gone, I believe, is down this way. Combat knife, I'll take it. Yeah, and that would slide me down to the lower waterway. But that's not where I want to go just yet. I don't think I can get through here either. No. But I'm glad we came this way. There were a couple of bullets. May as well pick those up while we're here. And then past this one, there is another set of stairs down that we didn't check out. Yeah, and so here are the, uh, sort of special unit soldiers. And on him is going to be our digital video cassette. Oh boy. Let's try and deal with this guy with our acid rounds. are much, much weaker than the flame rounds, I feel like. Which was not the case in the original, but good to know for this one. Now, what was this guy defending? Just whip a U-turn over here. Anything here? Ooh, more high-powered rounds. I like that. And then over this way should be our final um, T-bar handle slot. Oh, maybe I could have just slid down here. And that's going to open that broken one from earlier. And we can finally discard this, which feels good. But there is one thing I missed right behind me. That's going to be all the way this way. It's kind of interesting where in Claire's scenario, you really don't have to come past any of this at all. Like, what we're doing here is almost fully optional. But I do want to get uh, the tape, use the video cassette player, and use my T-bar uh, handle slot in everything that I possibly can. And the last thing we're going to need is still that Rook plug. Which was by the bridge. <sighs> now let me think. So then I think I want to take the workroom lift again. This will get me back to that bridge. Then I can grab the rook plug, and then we can finish up in here. Yep, that's what I want. Okay, 
Now we need to get to the control room. Which I want to take a right over here. It's funny, you know, when I finally, finally get my mind around these maps, it's time to move on to the next place, which for us is going to be Nest, uh, which is similar to the first scenario, but we know we're going there because Leon saw Claire in one of the cutscenes towards the end of our time there. And obviously the cable car is right here, so we know where we're going. Okay, now that we're here... One measly flame round. I will take it, though. Now we can do this locker. Uh, S, Z, F. Ooh, more submachine gun ammo. I love that. Okay. Now we can jump down. That will get us directly to the uh, monitor room. And let's go ahead and watch that tape. Please. Oh, please, stop. No, 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 no. no. Claire's one-liner is real, real good for that one. All right, so now we can discard that, but that would be how Claire uh, comes to realize how the infection got in the city. Now, I think I can put away this handgun ammo. I'm kind of comfortable rocking with my uh, high-powered handgun now. And I still have this on me to get a free refill on bullets. I would really like to believe in myself that I will remember to do that, but I'll probably just reflexively reload like the idiot I am. Okay. Now we gotta figure this out. So, the rook's next to the knight, but not facing the queen. The king ain't next to the queen, but facing the knight right at the end, and the knight ain't where the case marking sends. So... The king is facing the knight, but the knight doesn't go here. So we'll take that, and it doesn't say anything about the pawn, so the pawn has to go here. If it says it's on the end, then the knight probably just goes across. And then the king faces that. And then the queen is not next to the king, right? The king ain't next to the queen, so the queen then must go here. And the rook's got to go here, right? This is not my forte. Oh, the rook's next to the knight, but not facing... Okay. So the rook's next to the knight, but the king isn't next to the queen. So maybe the bishop doesn't go here? Let's take that. The rook's next to the knight. So then it's probably queen here. Bishop here. There we go. Easy peasy. All right, Sherry. On my way. Now, I'm feeling like I'm going to want some uh some of my acid rounds on me. Yeah, like that because I'm smelling a boss fight. Um, do I want to address this? I guess I do. Uh this room stays red unless you like take all of the electronic parts out and put them in the box, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> as much as it would satisfy me to uh, not have a red room. Ooh, what was that? 
Blue herb, okay. And a green herb. Yep, this is totally boss fight stuff, isn't it? Power must be out. The power is always out. Everyone knows that. We gotta go underground, and the power's always gotta be out. Okay, there's another red herb here. Let's go ahead and make another full heal. Two full heals should be sufficient, I would think. And let's go ahead and play around with this. There we go. Remember this part. Okay, we gotta keep moving. Not real sure how to avoid that. Reliably. It feels like it just kind of gets you when it wants to. But maybe I just don't understand the technique. Yeah, like that. Like, I'm still moving. Do an oval, I guess. Ugh. All right, well, we're already in danger, so let's go ahead and use a full heal. Is he gonna come through the door finally? All right, we're just gonna run for it. I feel like that swipe might have hit me. Should have known you would have But I just got lucky. Okay, I remember this section. So we gotta figure out a way to stun him. And hit this button for sure. Okay, cool, there's a flash grenade in the arena again. Let's go ahead and get that out. Good Lord. <laughs> and he's stunned in the wrong place, which is not great. Uh, she reloaded. Why doesn't she do that with the grenade launcher? Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and combine this before I forget to do it. He's stunned in a favorable location, so let's hit the button. Have I got a surprise for you? Go, 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 go. Looks like it's gonna get there in time. Perfect. Crap. Yep. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Did that do it? Nope. Give him the stabby. Oh, that worked. I can't believe it. <laughs> Whew. Okay. I'm so sorry, Sherry. This is taking forever. Well, sadly, that means I don't get my combat knife back, but you know what? It's going to be fine. There are like a few things in here, right? Yeah. A few more handgun bullets. All right. But let's go ahead and rescue Sherry. Oh, I do get my combat knife back. That's sweet. I'm surprised by that. I feel like it would have been fair if they didn't give it back. But I'll take it.
Sherry? Claire? Sherry, are you all right? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm here to help. Sherry's been implanted. She can't be saved. Are you fucking kidding me? You're her mother. Get in here! You don't understand. William is still out there, and if I don't stop him... This conversation is over! Wait! Wait! I, I can treat her. In my lab. It's not far away. Mommy? There's not enough time. Millions of lives are at stake. Sherry, mommy loves you, sweetie. Goodbye. Are you fucking kidding me? Sherry, don't worry. I will get you whatever you need, okay? Oh, why are you doing this? Because I care. Thank you, Claire. <sighs> and now we've got to head down to Nest. But there's a lot to unpack in that cutscene where uh, Annette is saying at the beginning, Mommy's here, but she isn't there. Claire is the one who's there. And then uh, Annette says there are millions of lives at stake. Annette said her lab's not far. Wait, that cable car which is why she feels she doesn't have time to help Sherry, which is fair, but still pretty tragic. And then the final thing is that Sherry initially can't even understand why Claire is doing this because she isn't used to adults caring about her. Hold on, Sherry. You're gonna be fine. Like, not even her parents, which is just really sad. Almost there, Sherry. We're almost there. Good. The cable car. Um. Here. Okay. Here you go. Just hold on, Sherry, okay? You're gonna be just fine. Okay. Better check everything. There's no turning back. Yep, we are at the point of no return. And the sewers and police station look nice and tidy to me, so let's get to it. This tram is bound for last. Do not exit until the final destination. Supposed to be lucky. I don't know what I'd do without you. Are you kidding me? You were doing just fine without me until I came along and got you all sorts of trouble. I have something of yours. I don't want it. Really? Why not? It's so pretty. my mom for my birthday last year uh, all I really wanted was for her to be home more I know it seems like your mom doesn't care but uh, hey uh, Sherry come uh, here. Hang in there, okay? Now, a 
arriving at uh, uh, It's okay. I've got you. Come on. Oh, this is so much better than the original game. I feel legitimately worried about Sherry and what happens to her. I'm getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's okay. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. Like, the fact that you're literally carrying her, I feel like emotionally connects you to the character so much more. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. Welcome to Nest. Enjoy your visit. All right. Is there a good place to put her down, maybe? <sighs> okay. Um. There you go. All right. Now what? Um. Huh. There's got to be something here. Antiviral agent. That's it. That's gotta be it. Hmm. Hey. Hey, Sherry. I gotta go. You stay right here, though, okay? I'll be back soon. I promise. All right, we've got the ID wristband right off the bat. That's interesting. Another flame round? I like that. What do we got here? Research lab north area map. Perfect. So there are plenty of places to explore, but it's looking to me like we want to tackle this wing first. Now, how's my loadout? Looking good. I think I want to have the flame rounds on just in case of the uh, plant enemies. I was kind of wondering how we were going to end up dealing with those. Authorized staff only beyond this point. Guests must refrain from entering. Oh, there's something back here. Nap room log. Okay. Uh, 18545, Toby Jackson entered at 344 and left at 731. So there are a lot of people taking naps, but interestingly, Wayne Lee, 18551, entered at 2016 and never left. So we're going to want to check that out for sure. ID wristbands. This research facility uses the latest security technology in order to ensure employee safety and efficient business practices. In order to enter and exit the facility and to operate certain equipment, employees must use an ID wristband. There are three levels of access, visitor, general staff, and senior staff. Authentication is granted based on an electronic chip inside the wristband. The wristband access level can be changed by simply inserting a different electronic chip. Visitor wristbands can be given to family members of employees. Please inquire at receptions for further details. And that word should definitely be inquire. But either way, we kind of know what we need to do. That looks like something I should be able to grab, right? But I can't. Now let's see. I've got two combat knives. That seems like too many. Um, we can put these away. I'm kind of tempted to put away the spark shot. It doesn't seem very good. Um, but I guess we'll leave it for now. And let's go ahead and uh, get to the nap room, shall we? Oh, it's already getting scarier. Okay. And I remember from the first playthrough there were going to be liquors around, and that looks like the uh, hallmark of a liquor area. Alright, so we have multiple ones up over here. Let's kneecap them.
Alright, and I do have combat knives, so we can double check that these are actually down. Alright, and I feel like the silencer really helped me not alert the other one. So let's go ahead and drop it. Why do I feel like I still hear one? All the way back there. Alright, let's kneecap him. That works so well. I wish I had been doing that the whole time. Alright, did we do it? I feel like we did. And I'm always too busy in here to appreciate it, but the, uh... Grenade? Sure, why not? The nutritional needs joke is pretty funny. <sighs> While one of the zombies is snacking on a uh, another person down there. Ooh, look at that CRT. Looks like it's even a flat screen. Wish I had that. And now if we uh, come through the ductwork, we can get back around to the other side of this one. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that dude right behind that door is not gonna get me this time. He is not getting me. There he is. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. It feels like he's got, like, body armor or something. You know what? I'm just going to put one right in the dome. He deserves it. <laughs> that is such an unbelievable jump scare. More flame rounds. I love that. And there's our electronic chip. This should come in handy. And I missed this, I think, on my first playthrough, coming back here to do that. High voltage condenser. Okay, so a custom part for the spark shot makes it possible to store a large amount of high voltage electricity, reducing the time between shots. All right, cool. Uh, but we'll definitely come back for this OSS one this time. Now we can take a shortcut right back through here, but there is something that I left behind in the uh, kitchen, I think. And I think it's like right over here somewhere. Yeah. So needle cartridges. So this is the only ammo drop for this bark shot in the entire game. So I really wanted to be sure that I got that. It can hold up to seven. It looks even cooler now. Look at that. It kind of looks like a weapon right out of Dead Space. Dr. Lee, your presence is urgently requested by Chief Cartwright in the East Area. We will definitely need to go there. But for right now... Let's go ahead and put some stuff away. I probably don't need the combat knife. I have nine acid rounds on me. That seems like a lot. So maybe we'll put away the uh, flame rounds for now. So then what I want to do is get this out. 
uh, switch it. We'll put the flame rounds away because I kind of want to save those up for when we uh, end up dealing with the plant enemies. And we'll just rock with acid rounds for now. I think that looks pretty good. And we will go check out the east area, but that's going to have to wait until next time because I'm all out of time for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.